There's so many ways to say how much you mean to me. But as you know, I find it hard to share my emotions and thoughts. Ever since I saw you on our first date, you gave me a feeling that no one else has, a sense of belonging, belonging. And from that moment, I felt my future had been laid out in front of me. Normally, it takes a while to trust and allow people in. But with you, it was effortless. And that is solely down to what an incredible and warm person you are. I still catch that glitter in your eye, the one I saw on our first date that made me fall for you. You are a wonderful mum to Effie and Ivy, and you have the patience of a saint putting up with me 24-7. I don't regret a single moment of the last seven years, and I'll always love you, Ollie. First, my wife and I would like to say thank you for, for making the effort to be with us today, finally, and to celebrate in this fantastic location. Let me get straight into this, and although this is partially pre-written, even I wasn't prepared for how beautiful and elegant you look today. As you know, I'm not the best at expressing my emotions, and I've always wondered how I'd be able to put this, the last six, seven years into words. Then I came across something that put everything into context. And although this is slightly ruined by the registrar today, <laughs> the saying is you don't marry the person you can live with, you marry the person you can't live without. I don't think I would imagine my life in any different since the day I met you. Oliver, I give you this ring as a token of my love and respect. As a token of my love and respect. And as a symbol. And as a symbol. Of all that we share together. Of all that we share together. Accept this ring. Accept this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. In the knowledge. In the knowledge. That I will love and care for you always. That I will love and care for you always. I promise to love. And to care for you. And to care for you. To trust you. To trust you. And be honest with you. And be honest with you stand by you, whatever the future may bring. Please enjoy every moment on your journey through life together, and wherever you go, may you always return safely to one another. It really does give me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Please kiss your wife. You may be my little sister, but you are also my best friend. And I have been so proud to watch you continue to plan this most amazing day through all the difficulties that were lobbed at you. We hope you have a lifetime of smiles, fun and love with the odd glasses of gin and whiskey thrown in for good measure. Enjoy the rest of this perfect day. We love you both so very, very much. Can I ask everybody please to stand and raise our glasses to the bride and groom. At this point, I would like to formally welcome Ollie into our family, even though he's been there for quite a bit of it already. But there we are. Ollie, you're a great guy who clearly loves Nicky and obviously makes him very happy. I'm, I'm really grateful for you both to have like, invited me and, and all of us sort of here today and to, to, to share this day with you. I'm really obviously over the moon to see the, the brilliant family you're both building and to be part of your future. You are a truly wonderful and beautiful person. I think everyone would agree you have the warmest of hearts and the unique ability to lift the mood in the room in any situation. And ever since our first date, where I caught the sparkling eye, your eye, you have always made me feel wanted, loved, and most importantly, part of the family. You are an incredible mum to Effie and Ivy, somehow managing to juggle the responsibilities of motherhood with reorganising this entire wedding, including making most of the decorations. Thank you for all that you have done, and here is to our future. Please join me in raising a toast to Nikki.